Hello friends, this is Shoaib and now you are watching Maximum Electronics. If you are not subscribed to our YouTube channel, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for latest updates. So today we are discussing about the what are the UV chokes. UV chokes is basically used in our RO system and RO system contains a UV light which having a power rating of 11 volt or it can be uh, 8, 8 watt sorry 11 watt and 8 watt so these are the drivers or UV choke driver we can say UV choke or uh, it is uh, simply equivalent to your um, tube light choke what, whatever tube light you are using and that uh, that also contains such type of uh, drivers that is in general uh, um, known as um, choke okay so let us see so there is two different type of uv chokes here mm, this two this two is dc choke because here is a, here is orientation here is orientation what orientation there is positive negative positive negative it means dc contains the orientation we know already these things and this choke mm, sorry this this choke is ac choke because there is no orientation in this wires whatever you connect the this one plus with this one minus this one plus or this one minus or vice versa so hmm, let's see this one is the uv choke uh, it is uh, it is hardly used in 2010 uh, to 2013 14 i don't know i think uh, it is used in five years six years or uh, I don't know how much years ago it used in RO system, but now it is now this uh, AC choke is upgraded in this type of chokes, and this choke is upgraded choke. Okay, upgraded choke. Mm, there is a there is only four capacitors which are able to convert our AC signal 220 volt AC signal that is converted into 30 volt AC signal and this AC signal is able to drive our 11 watt or 8 watt uh, UV lights and uh, here um, only four capacitors 1, 2, 3 and 4 are able and here is the uh, bridge rectifier I'm showing you there is one, two, three, four diode. If four diodes are uh, combined at any point, that is uh, known as bridge rectifier and some resistor. So now the complexity of these circuits are reduced. This one is used in familiar and uh, farmer, but it is uh, now it is currently used in markets and RO systems. Now uh, we are discussing the DC choke. So DC choke contains, um, DC choke is uh, uh, takes input in terms of DC and uh, it will make a uh, voltage 30 volt uh, AC signals. So it is a converter. This one is AC to AC converter and this one is DC to AC converter. Okay. So there is uh, having two transistors, one inductor and uh, very small circuit and this one is also this one is fail max uh, pcb and this one is uh, i don't know uh, so here comparison between this ac and dc chokes so which one is better for our ro system so let's see this one is dc choke it means whatever signal uh, which is uh, taking by this uh, circuit as an input that is dc so in case of dc the fluctuation is very less very less frequency uh, because of the frequency and therefore dc choke is uh, good for our ro systems and this one is ac choke if any fluctuation are present in input of this such type of circuit then output will be also fluctuated and if the output is fluctuated then what happened then our dc light are damaged will damage sorry so dc light will damage and in this uh, dc chokes there is a very less probability of damage of uv lights so this purpose of this video is um, to comparison between this uh, chokes and i also prefer this such type of dc chokes which is very good 
and one other uh, one another advantage of this dc choke is what actually we are using in our system like such type of um, smps so this smps convert uh, 220 volt to uh, 24 volt dc so not dc so whatever fluctuation is present in this circuit so first damage uh, if the any fluctuation is present in ac circuit then damage this uh, smps but this our dc choke which is after uh, connected after this um, this smps so the damage the probability of damage of dc choke is very less so uh, the light the light will uh, the probability of damage of light is very less or zero we can say but in this uh, chokes the ac is connected with ac so any fluctuation in, is present in input then uh, the fluctuate the output and find our uv light will damage so thanks for watching